Nice to be here. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Uh, your new nice album, Frankensteiner Strate Montanus, mm -hmm. was released uh, a few months ago. How it go? How how is being with this album with the critics? What was your inspiration this time for create this album? Yeah, I think uh, we've reached, reached somehow uh, a milestone this time uh, because uh, the reactions and the credits were yeah, actually great. I think uh, for Karak Angren, this, uh, this is definitely a highlight for, for me personally and I think also for Ardek. I think we, uh, we more or less came to found, find our, our style the way we wanted because Karak Angren is actually, we are known for being Yeah, more or less a complex band, you know, with when it comes to writing music and uh, yeah, I think this this album's really uh, well balanced and uh, yeah, we we gained a lot of credits when it comes to uh, the creation of it, yeah, the the inspiration and uh, the whole concept around it with the Frankenstein idea. So uh, yeah, very satisfied. You're a band that uses a lot of uh, of visual elements almost theatrically something mm -hmm. do, you, do you think uh, this part of the band is as much as important as the music uh, yeah almost almost yeah i've uh, I, i remember when i began in, in the beginning way before karak angren that uh, i was into death metal and all of a sudden i discovered these these melodic black metal bands and And I had a feeling with it, like uh, I, I want this, but but more as a band, you know. So it's more like uh, I don't know, a little bit of, of of the Adams family, what you create visually, you know. And uh, yeah, in a way, sometimes it's even more important. If you take one, if you take one thing apart, then the whole thing, yeah, tumbles in together. But uh, but yeah, visually is very uh, important aspect, I think. If you would take all the corpse paint away and all the movements and the whole show that we have today, then I think it would be disappointing. Yeah. In your sound, your music was always been surrounded by the topic of of death, you know? Yes, uh, yes. With this pandemic unleashed, has it brought you kind of inspiration? <laughs> uh, actually, yeah. This we released our album and more or less it was finished before the before this whole pandemic pandemic and uh, it was interesting. Uh, we we have for example uh, Stefan Heilemann. Uh, he's our artwork design uh, guy for this album, and uh, he already came up. That there's this part uh, where, where you see this big bat, you know, that represents more or less a vampire. And uh, yeah, I mean the bat could be yeah could be the beginning of the of the whole virus. So. So these were pretty uh, little interesting things to think about, you know. It's coincidence, but uh, but yeah, it was weird in a way. To, to me, it's like uh, yeah, this is more a, a modern thing. I think you know, uh, if uh, yeah, this is actually the first time in our, our lives. I think we, we we never had anything like the World War or something like that. Like like my grandmother, she went through the Second World War and. For us, this was the first time a little bit from, okay, what's happening now, you know? And I think here in Holland, we are doing pretty well. We don't have that much problems compared to other countries. But uh, but yeah, we saw this this whole thing already in all the movies that we have today, you know? In all the yeah, zombie films, so to say, this, is, this was in a creepy way, more or less, starting to look like the beginning of it. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, our album was finished before it. So, but inspiring, yeah. I don't think uh, I don't think the virus is a little modern for Karak Angren. But okay, who knows what we come up with in the future? Maybe for a, a, a new album in the future. Yeah, it could be, it could be, but it has to be a good story. <laughs> we tend to linger in the past, so so let's see. We're we are always free. That's Karak Angren all about. We are we should be loose from from all limits. So. Uh, Yeah, if, if the story is good, if, if the, the feel is right, then we will always go with that feeling. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Many bands have been affected by the pandemic, you know, all the, all the industry, in, in fact. Mm -hmm. How did it affect Kara Shangren's besides, uh, of course, touring, you know? 
Yeah, uh, it in fact it was uh, our way. Uh, I think yeah, Clemens and I we both have to yeah see and try to come around. Uh, for for me it's a yeah it's a big part. I'm trying to do a lot of things now, so to say, to survive. Uh, I make the masks beside it, but it's uh, it's a bit, a bit difficult. It's in, sometimes it's not enough, you know. And uh, for me, mask making is more of an an art thing. And when it comes to money making, I still think those two go not so good hand in hand, you know, because it's not something I can do fast. So, so for me personally, I'm looking for different things to get around, but, but in the end we're doing well. So I think uh, there are good things and bad things about this. One of the good things was that we had an album that was finished. So uh, huh? we have a release. So in, in all this time, that the only thing you see on the internet is Corona here and there. And yeah, we were lucky to have that album to give people something else than the bullshit of the virus, you know. So, uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, difficult, so to say. It's difficult uh, after all these years. We finally made our job of this passion, you know, what we always wanted to be in this band and go around. And then this piece of shit virus comes up, you know. <laughs> no one can play anymore. So, so yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's a bit irritating and. Uh, Especially how the way how it goes, you know, it's there's no clear date like okay now we're gonna have a vaccine or shit like that. It's uh, yeah, it's a weird thing. So uh, it's like yeah, it's yes, yeah, it's yes. what we survive. Bands like Anathema, Cold and Survive, they announced their split. You know, mm -hmm. um, I I think it's very hard for 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 the not massive bands like yours what do you think for excuse me i didn't understand it i, I think it is more difficult for bands that are not massive that oh yeah yeah, are... yeah 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 absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. we are uh, yeah so to say one man's companies you know so uh and uh yeah because if if you if you're if you depend on giving shows you know and doing tours and and you cannot do them anymore then yeah that's difficult then uh and you have to step outside outside of your your expertise, so to say. You know, you have to find different jobs. But uh, but yeah, I've always did everything for the band. You know, every job that I had or did, it was always for eventually for the band. So it doesn't matter. You know, I I we mutate like the virus itself. So we will we will get there. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, let's see before it all goes open again. There will be a, a, a date, but uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's difficult. Yeah, it's it's strange. It's weird. Do you so, ever think that things will back to normal? Of I kind think, of normal? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, in in a way, what is what is normal? Uh, uh, I'm not really following it anymore. I just I just was following it in in the beginning when it all came to pass and. Yeah, if you have to think further, I mean, how is it going to be? Is someone going to come up with this vaccine? Is it going to be a fair play? You, you never know how, how it's played, you know, and, and and if it's something they discover quickly. And because if there is something, a vaccine, then, then yeah, then then we are, it should be solved, I guess. But uh, yeah, the, the thing is, there's still this distance, you know, we still uh, have to keep a distance there. There cannot be any shows. So as long as that is, I don't know, you have the answer to that, I don't, <laughs> you know, uh, if, if you really follow the, cl the, the the news, I guess there's hopes every day and then it takes time again, so, yeah, I'm, uh, in, in a way it's it's very, it's fucked up, but in, in, on the other hand, I can easily say, oh, fuck it, it's, you have to accept it anyway, if you go, if you go running against the wall the whole day, then, then you get tired anyway, so, <laughs> yeah concentrate on other things. How do you maintain a constant evolution of a band that is um, 70, 17 years from career now? Uh, I think it's passion. <laughs> passion is the only thing that, that keeps it going. And uh, yeah, Ardak, I mean, he, he's, uh, I know him big, big time of my life, almost 20 years now, and he knows me and yeah, but we know what we have on each other, you know, and uh, the passion is still there. It's uh, like, yeah, everyone knows recently Nantar left the band. We were always uh, a triangle and, uh, you know, three guys. 
but uh, especially now when shit like that happened it was to us to him and me very clear that we that we love this thing you know it, it has always been our thing and uh, so if that passion is there you will always find a way to evolve yourself or if i look back now how it started all you know the first album uh, or the, the the demo so to say then it's yeah then it's really interesting <laughs> you know this is not a thing you do in a year like uh, this kind of evolution we went through now and uh, we've always been this kind of melodic band so to say you know this this uh, with these kind of concepts and we never stepped out of it. It's always the keyboards, the music, the black metal, different kind of styles, my voice. And, but yeah, it became, it became fat now, big, you know, uh, we're working with the right people these days. So uh, if you have great ideas, you know, uh, it always takes years to get there. And, uh, but we're still not done, you know, let's see, we, we might change into other directions. And uh, yeah, I think that's a cool thing with Karagang and especially, uh, if, if it comes to the more true black metal, there it's it's always somehow difficult, you know, to go if you and with the keyboards or changing and I mean if you stick to true things or not. And uh, I think we are the opposite of that, you know. We are about yeah seeing what works and not on our own feelings. So uh, and uh, yeah, so you never know where we we are going with the next album. <laughs> You maintained a cast and lineup for many, many years until your recent drummer change. Mm -hmm. Did the dynamics within the band change with the departure? Uh, you mean writing-wise? Uh, yeah, writing and, and, and yes, of course. Uh, I think I think not so much actually, um, because uh, it was actually Arlek and, and and me are were always the yeah the writers because I. Uh, did the lyrics, uh, I write guitars, Artek writes pretty much everything <laughs> and Nantor was always <laughs> the drummer so but when it came to the writing process he, he was never really involved because uh, yeah as a drummer you, you, you are not able to, to play melodies you know or stuff like that so he, he was never that in, into into it personally also so so as a drummer it came later then uh, you know the music was pretty much finished and in the end he came with his drum parts and Stuff might change there when he had cool parts, you know, we might change the music, but uh, but this happened already, uh, these problems with Nantor, this was already not something from day to day, you know, it, it, this was a thing that probably started building up years ago and, and, and for him it came out and it was, uh, yeah, it was a difficult period and so yeah, in, in, in diff many situations, it was a very uh, big hit to us. But I, th I think also it's a, it's a bit of a relief, you know, but because in the end, if there's a person who doesn't uh, like to be there anymore, then yeah, it's the same thing like keeping some some bird in a cage, you know, you got to let it go. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, nobody's going to be happy. So, uh, so yeah, I think this is this was the best way for us. And I writing wise, no, it definitely did not uh, damage us, I'm certain of that, because, yeah, it's always between Arlek and me riding hands and forth. You know, we are the ones who, who, who decided things, and Namta was actually the third member who decided for himself, like, okay, I want to do these kinds of drums here. So he was there involved, and yeah, the thing changed now to two guys, and uh, we're lucky with that. If I look to other bands where, for example, were singers, uh, are just the vocalists, but they are the boss, so to say, and they have to control all the, all the members. It sometimes it seems to me pretty hard, you know, that to find the right music. You really have to be working together. Then. And uh, yeah, Arlek and I, we've always been very lucky that we have all the shit in our own hands. We, we, we the two of us, we can do what we want. And uh, yeah, that's a nice thing. We're still doing it <laughs> with losses. And uh, yeah, we hope this to do many years from now. That's awesome. You did a, a collaboration with uh, that metal DC comic series. It was a, a, an opportunity to make yourself known to new audiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. It's uh, it was uh, yeah a great contact we've gained also after this evolution after all these years. Uh, we came to work with uh, great people uh, like Robert Carranza and, uh, you know, who did uh, the sound for this album, The Master. And so 
yeah, and, and uh, through that we've 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 came for this opportunity, and yeah, I think for for a band like Karagang, and this is for this is the thing you want, you know, we want to be this filmic band. So uh, yeah, when I saw this uh, little preview for the first time, I was like smiling like the Joker. So <laughs> yeah, <I> really. <laughs> Yeah, this was uh, another milestone. Like I said, you know, it's strange things happening. It's like uh, uh, Nantar describes a situation that didn't, wasn't successful. He left the band, and but for us, it's a very different thing because here, here's this DC comic thing. Uh, we have been number one in Finland with our album a week. Uh, I think 30, uh, 82 in Germany and 83 in Belgium, something like that. And to be on that spot in, in the with your album, that means a thing in Germany. <laughs> you don't get there easily. So, so yeah, it's, it has all all been like new goals that we achieved, and uh, yeah, we could have we could not have been any prouder. Do you read comics? <laughs> I uh, not really anymore. I have to say, uh, as a kid, I, I did read them. I, mean, I had to, I had the Batman versions, and especially the Hulk. <laughs> I was always. <laughs> Still, interested. if if I have to choose one I like, then it's the Hulk. It's uh, boot power, yeah. So, uh, but I still have them somewhere on the attic. And uh, but you know how it is these days. You know, I I want to collect it all. I want to have all the albums. I want to have it physically, but I'm but I'm too lazy, man. I just click on the internet and it's there. So you know, if you want a comic, you just find it on the internet. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, sometimes, especially if I have to make something. Uh, visually or like creative for the masks then then I tend to to search the web for comics. I recently did a, a spawn mask for someone so so that then I have to check some some comic and uh, and the old Judge Dread that was also a comic that I had as a kid. I remember that was uh, yeah they always had interesting interesting backgrounds. It was uh, very well done. Yeah it's a time that is uh, more or less past, you know. Now it's all digital. And uh, back in the, in the days, you could really—that was the only thing you had, comics. <laughs> maybe, maybe in the future, make a, a comic book for for Karahangan. <laughs> yeah, it would be amazing. We actually had a few fans already uh, uh, in the states. Uh, there are like a few artists uh, who made little stories about this, you know, about us in, in a way. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we uh, it, it works with us. <laughs> Do you already have plans for the go on tour next year? You will be in Mexico, as I know, in Monterrey. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, it has been uh, postponed to uh, 2021. So, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I don't, we don't know exactly when. It's this whole virus thing, you know, that the uncertainty. If there was a date, then things would go open, chaotic, I think. So so there's not much we know. So we just keep concentrating on our things. And all we can do is rehearse the songs. And uh, yeah, it's hard yeah, for, for a band like us. Uh, it's not like you're sitting there at home just playing the songs, playing the songs until you can go. We are a band. We need to be on tour. And there, there we get better. There we learn. There we stand before the audience. There we grow, you know. So. Uh, so touring is the best, the best uh, learning grounds for for a band like us. And uh, but still, all we can do is rehearse here, you know, jerk around a little bit, watch some TV. <laughs> so uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and well, dates in Mexico, South America, or you know, the States? Uh, there's nothing being planned yet, as far as I know. Just only the one in Mexico that has been uh, postponed. It's to, to 21. So, uh, but lose from that, we have nothing. <laughs> okay. So, so, well, thank you so much for your time. No problem. Uh, and I uh, hope to see you here in Mexico next year and maybe another date. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Take care, my friend. Thank you so thank, much. Thank you, man. Take care. Have a nice day. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.